What's up guys, this is Alex. Today I'm going to be showing you your very first Java tutorial, which is just going to involve installing your Java SDK, which is your software developer's kit, which gives you the ability in order to compile and run programs on your computer, and Eclipse, which is going to be what we're, it's sort of like our notepad that will like highlight and make things look really cool and easy to understand for us, which is going to help us with developing programs. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Google, you're going to type in Java SDK, and it's always going to be your first one. Just click the link, it's going to come up with your screen, sometimes it's Oracle, other times it changes, they just, I guess they just can't make up their mind. I can't tell you much other than that. Uh, you're going to have four different buttons right here, your Java, Java JavaFX, uh, NetBeans with Java, and Java EE. We're not going to need to worry about these, just hit JDK under your normal Java download button whenever the screen loads. This is going to be the screen where you select the type of operating system you're running. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the drop down button and we're going to go to Windows. Well, I'm going to be going to Windows. If you're running a Linux on regular 32-bit thir uh, or 64-bit or Solaris or anything, you can click those. But I'm running Windows 32-bit, so I'm just going to click that. I'm going to make sure the Agree button is checkmarked and I'm going to hit Continue. You're going to get this screen, and this is just your download screen. Just click the link that says under Java SE Development Kit 6U23. It's going to come up with your download bar, and you can save, run, or cancel. It doesn't matter. It depends. Or just don't cancel. Cancel like if you don't want to download this, um, but you need to in order to develop Java programs. After this screen, we're going to be hitting save, run, in order to keep the program and run the program, but since I already have it, I don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm going to bring up my downloads, and I'm going to double click on the first one, and hit run. It's going to give you the basic guide on getting through it, just click next, next, default, and everything. Um, I already have everything set up on it, so I don't think it's going to actually install it again. If it does, it really shouldn't be. Um, if it gives me a cancel button, I'll probably click it and bring it up and get rid of it all because I really don't need this anymore. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going and making sure our paths and environmental variables are set up properly. So what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to go to the Start menu, hit on Computer, go to your C drive, and mine is going to be located in Program Files because I installed it by default. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to scroll down until I find Java, which is right here. I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to click on the one that we just installed, which was JDK 1.6.0 underscore 23, which is just saying it's Java update 6 sub update 23, I guess. We're going to click on that and we're going to go into bin. You're going to have a bunch of files in here and you're not going to know what to do with any of them. I really don't even know what I'm going to do with any of them except I'm going to right click, I'm going to go down to properties and I'm going to get the path which is right here next to location. I'm going to highlight it because it'll let me. There we go. I'm going to copy it. I'm just using the quick shortcut key control C in order to copy it. I'm going to hit the OK button. I'm going to go back into our start menu, hit computer, right click on our hard drive and hit properties. Oops. Just right click anywhere on there, hit properties, go to advanced system settings, and there's going to be an environment tables uh, button that you can click on. That's where we're going to be putting it. Click on that environment tables, and our environment variables, sorry if I've been messing that up, it um, doesn't really matter as long as you got to this point. We're going to be hitting new because we want a new variable for our computer. And the name, make sure your variable name is always this, capital P A T H. We want it to be path. And our, va and our variable value, value is going to be what we just entered. Just hit OK, hit OK, hit OK, and close out of all the tabs that we open because we don't really need them anymore. And what you can do in order to check to make sure it worked before, if you were to go into your command prompt, and type in Java, nothing would pop, or Java C, nothing would pop up. But now if we type in Java C, it's going to give us all the different types of Java, like commands that we can run through our command prompt. 
After this, we're going to be going back to our internet browser, going back to Google, and we're going to be getting Eclipse. Hit the Downloads button whenever it comes up. We just want uh, the very first one. I mean, there's a bunch of different things that you can get. There's one for C++, which is new. I haven't seen that in a while. And we're just going to get the first one, which is a Clip IDE for Java developers. It's about 99 megabytes. I'm running on Windows 32-bit. If you're running on 64-bit, you go ahead and click that one, but I'm going to be clicking 32-bit. And we're going to get this screen, which is just our basic download screen. You can click this first link and download from it, but sometimes it's a little bit faster to use one of these other ones. Um, do do whatever you want as long as it's HTTP because you want to get it like from the internet. You don't want to get it from another user whose computer is just online because sometimes it's a lot slower than it needs to be. We're going to click on it and download it. And I will be right back after this is all done. After it is done downloading, what we're going to do is we're going to find the file that was downloaded and we're going to open it up. Mine opens automatically up in WinRAR since that's the program I use to open zip and, er, and uh, .rar files. You're going to see this one folder called Eclipse and inside of it it's going to have a bunch of other folders and files. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it and I want to put it in this in my documents tutorials folder just because this is where I'm going to be putting all, all the files I use in order to teach you things. So I'm going to copy the path and I'm just going to put it right back in here. I'm going to hit OK and it's going to extract everything. It's going to put it all in this folder right here. And it's going to be really easy to bring up in the future. Next you want to do is you want to double click on Eclipse and you want to find your Eclipse.exe. You want to click that right click it and you want to put send to desktop what that's going to do is just make a shortcut on your desktop so that you can run it really fast you don't need to worry about getting back to this directory anymore in order to pick it up and that's going to put it on your desktop and you can open it up very easily now whenever it's open this is going to be your basic loading screen um, if it's the first time it's going to ask for a default workspace that you want to put it on I'm going to set mine to workspace inside of my tutorials. That way those are also easier for me to find. I'm just going to hit OK. It's going to load everything. It's going to take a little bit of time for the first time, but after that you shouldn't worry about it. After you get to your welcome screen, congratulations, you have just completely set up Eclipse, your, uh, which is your IDE, which is what we are going to be using for developing Java programs and your SDK which is your software developers kit which is what you're going to be using for any type of Java program in order for it to run properly. Just hit the X button and it's going to give you just your basic screen. This is all I'm going to have for you for today. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Have fun.